I'm going to tell you about when I wrote Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now by the Smiths on this very guitar. Got this guitar on January the 2nd, 1984, because a few weeks earlier when the Smiths were going to sign to Sire Records, Seymour Stein, he, uh, he took us out to dinner, wine and diners. We were getting stories out of him about all these different bands and he was telling me about when um, he took Brian Jones to get a guitar in New York. So I saw my opportunity right there and um, I said to him, well, if you take me to get a guitar in New York, we'll sign to your record label. And in a moment of weakness, he, he took the bait and he said, sure, I'll get you a guitar. I said, really, you'll get me a guitar if we sign. So true to his word, although I had to wait around all day, um, we went over to uh, 48th Street in New York and uh, he and I, and um, just all, as all the shops were closing, I thought, oh, I'm going to miss my chance. And I, I just saw in this store that this guitar and, you know, it was like, it was like there was a light glowing around it. Like, That's the one I want, you know. Anyway, he bought me the guitar and I was super happy about that, of course. And then I went straight back to the hotel and, um, and took it out of his case. And the first thing I played on it was this. I played... <laughs> And uh, that was literally what, what happened when I picked the guitar up. I was like, where the hell did, did this come from? So I better turn this into a song. I wasn't sure whether it, it was Smith's song, but it was definitely a song. Something I should say about this, I've not played this riff song for, I don't know, 25 years or something, so if I screw it up, then uh, you try playing it after 25 years. But uh, they've got the next bit, which was a... So I had all that song worked out within, you know, an hour or so in New York. And then um, the next thing I played on it was a riff that went. And I just was riffing on that really, maybe because it looked like a rock and roll guitar. Uh, which I imagine, imagine as a piano song. And that turned into um, Girl Afraid. Um, and those two songs were always in my mind like a pair because I wrote them in the same day on this guitar. And this is the guitar, Noel tells me that uh, this is the reason that he plays a big red 355 same as this because when he saw mine he uh, as a fledgling rock god in waiting he, uh, he always liked it so I think that's set off his imagination and this is the reason why and uh, Bernard Butler too he had one of these as well so the three of us have all got these really cool 355s and uh, that's the story of uh, heaven knows I'm miserable now <laughs>